Welcome to the Rusted Garden. Today I want to show you how to care for tomatoes in containers. I'm going to show you a little bit about staking them, identify blossom end rot, and the three main reasons for it in container tomatoes. And let me just start over here with the Abe Lincoln tomato. This is a red tomato, heirloom. Uh, the tomato will get to be about six to eight ounces round and you can see that it's doing pretty well in the container five gallon container and when you come closer you can take a look at the fruit and you can see the bottoms look great when you come over to the Jersey Devil which is a Roma type tomato you can see right on the bottom the browning of where the flower was attached to the tomato and that's blossom end rot. The tomato over here is Sarah's Galapagos Island. It's a sweet currant type tomato, very small, it'll get very large. There are no tomatoes on that plant yet. And here is a bicolored ox heart and you can see the tomatoes forming. It's doing very well. Both of those are in 18 gallon containers because they do get really large. This tomato is a homestead, which is really a determinate type tomato, but um, I'd classify it as semi-determinate because it continues to grow. And if you look at the fruit in here, you can see definite browning. That's a great picture of blossom and rot, unfortunately. Yet the other tomatoes don't have it. There are really two reason, two main reasons, and another reason tomatoes can get blossom and rot. The first reason basically has to do with uneven watering. If your tomatoes aren't watered evenly in a container, you basically mess up its capacity to absorb water through the roots. It usually happens when you water your tomato well one day, then it dries out the next day, and then you water it a whole lot you know, a day or two later. You want to keep consistent moisture. Consistent moisture moisture will help prevent blossom end rot. The other reason you can get blossom end rot is because your soil doesn't have enough calcium or, like with the watering issues, the roots kind of get messed up and can't, uh, can't pull the calcium out of the soil. The third reason would be some sort of plant stress. It's been 100 plus degrees here for a week. Uh, if your plant gets stressed if by you know, viruses, disease, heat, or it's just kind of getting beat up, it can run into problems functioning properly and blossom end rot can form. And here's the other example. The best way to treat it in containers is to treat it all together. Um, that would mean making sure you switch over to a routine that it's getting consistent water. Um, the other thing you can do is just buy lime. And this is organic garden lime. It's a pelleted form and you can mix uh, about a half a cup into two gallons of water or you could do a tablespoon into a gallon of water or really you know a handful, um, a loose handful into a gallon of water. You don't have to worry so much about the lime damaging the tomato but you mix it with water, let it sit in there, mix it up until it's dissolved and you can see the white markings on my deck because I did this last night when I got back from vacation. Um, just pour, you know, a half a gallon or so of the water with lime into your containers. That will ensure that you give it calcium. It will also ensure you're watering it. And what you do is you hope that cures your blossom end rot. The next thing you have to do is, is pick your tomatoes off the vine. There's no point in really keeping them on there. And here's the other one. And you can see a good example of blossom end rot. The other thing you want to do with your container tomatoes, this is a large tomato. I have a cage in there, basic bamboo poles here tied at the top. And you want to make sure the poles in the cage is secured in the container. You're going to let your stalks, the stems of the tomato, 
grow through the top, so you really want to make sure it's secure. These tomatoes will continue to grow and get, get much larger. One more thing to look at too is sometimes heat and watering issues can cause curling of the leaves, which won't harm your plant. If you can try to get them onto a regular watering routine or if the heat dies down, that will help the tomato out too. And if I'm really looking closely, this tomato is a tad yellow in comparison to the other tomatoes. I'm trying not to get you motion sick. And that might need a little magnesium in the soil. Container tomatoes, because they're in containers obviously, often suck out all the nutrients quickly from the soil and that can uh, show up in your plant leaves, it can show up with blossom end rot. It's just possible that a tomato actually takes most of the nutrients out and when it's growing quickly and growing well, it starts to show blossom end rot, um, leaf discoloration, just because you don't have enough nutrients in the soil. So making sure that you uh, feed your container tomatoes every two weeks or so during July and August when they're really growing is important. And you can use uh, whatever type soluble fertilizer you'd like. If you enjoyed this video, please check out my blog at www.therustedgarden.blogspot.com. Thanks.